we are used to the norm and the norm is lack of health. The norm is continuing to get sicker over time until you trigger your genetics. So somebody asked me a really good question today. He's about to start doing four weeks of rapid recovery with me because he has lupus nephritis and literally only 5% of his kidney is left. So his only option here is to go on dialysis and transplant or to try to see if he can get some of his kidney back. And my experience has been that people have a greater capacity to recover kidney function than we ever thought before, but we have to be really strict. The kidneys are really picky. I always tell my clients, it's not that I'm picky. I'm actually really laid back. The kidneys are picky. You can't mess around. Like they know if you had one thing off, that's like, you know, the, the elf on a shelf that reports back to Santa. Well, you know, the kidneys, they know, they're watching everything. And so once you get to the point that you've got severe end-stage kidney failure, even eating one thing off plant, even a little bit of cooked vegetables, a cracker or something, will totally shut down the repair process. I don't want it to be that way, it just is. So while I've helped people double their kidney function, triple their kidney function in a matter of one to two months, it's only been with the strictest following of the nutrition protocol. And it's the least fun version of it because if you've got 5% kidney function, then your kidney filters can't handle things like potassium. Your sodium can tank, your phosphorus can go all over the place. So they can't eat all the yummy fruits. They can't have the guacamole dip. So it really is super strict at that point and you have to be really, really focused. But the gentleman that I was working with, he asked me, he said, well, how is it that I was able to eat pizza and burgers and all that stuff for so many years before I ever got sick. And, and why is it that I can only eat raw vegetables now and get better? And I thought that was a great question. So the answer to that is every time you eat things that are inflammatory, so animal products, meat, dairy, butter, eggs, uh, processed foods that have tons of oils in them or other outside oils, dairy products, when you eat that stuff, you are always causing damage to your body. It's just that your genetics will determine how quickly that takes a toll on you and in what way it takes a toll on you, as well as what else you eat. So for example, if you eat animal products, maybe once a week, that's gonna cause damage, right? But let's say the rest of the week, you eat tons of kale, you drink lots of water, you eat chia pudding for omega-3s, then even though that causes some damage, you might still be pretty healthy because your body can repair it. Most people don't do that though. Most people who are eating animal products and processed foods is most of what they eat. And then maybe they eat a little bit of salad or there's some lettuce on their burger. So it's damage, 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 damage. And then you have to look at what the, gene, the genes are to see what happens. So for example, the most common thing that kills people today are heart attacks. Well, when we look at the development of heart attacks, we can see that for most kids, they have heart disease by eight years old. And what I call heart disease is that they have plaques in their arteries at eight years old. And so the blood pressure goes up at eight years old. Now, my children have never had those kind of foods. They have grown up with green smoothies in their bottles and eating really delicious plant-based foods, lots of smoothies. So they are abnormally healthy compared to other kids. So for example, my son who's about to turn 10, he's nine now, uh, he went to get his nine-year-old checkup and the nurse took his blood pressure and then she got a look of fear on her face and took his blood pressure again and then ran out of the room, came back, closed the door and then ran out of the room, right? And I was entertained because I knew, because I watched the reading, that she was scared that his blood pressure was low. Now, just so you know, folks, uh, if your blood pressure is low, that's good. Unless you're in heart failure, low blood pressure is always better. But here she is, a pediatric nurse who has never seen a kid with low blood pressure, right? She's used to kids with high blood pressure. So for her, the normal doesn't scare her. The fact that kids' blood pressure goes up. My son's blood pressure at nine is more like a five or six year old's blood pressure, right? So it, because he has no plaques in his arteries, he has no resistance to blood flow in his arteries at all. So his blood pressure did not go up as he got older because his blood flows naturally, whereas most eight year olds already have plaques slowing it down. So we are used to the norm and the norm is lack of health. The norm is continuing to get sicker over time until you trigger your genetics. So if it's heart disease, you might not have your first heart attack till 40 or 50 or 60. If it's autoimmune disease, you might be sick today. I met someone who has already got autoimmune disease at six. So it could be six, could be 16 like it was for me and it could be 20s, right? So the best thing you can do is always make sure that you eat really healthy healing foods so that you don't get sick. So if you're healthy and watching this, great. 
have a green smoothie every day that's got tons of greens, omega-3s from chia or flax, uh, just a little bit of fruit in there for flavor, drink your water every day, and keep the majority of what you eat coming from healthy foods. And then if you eat a little bit of processed foods or something like that, you'll be all right. But if you're already sick, you can't do that. Aggressive illnesses do not respond to moderation. Moderation will kill you. The, the aggressive illnesses will only respond to aggressive nutrition, which means you have to stick to only eating the foods that will heal you. I hope that helps.